Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Mezco 112 Collective DC Comics Superman Recovery Suit or Regeneration Suit Superman. Now, uh, I want to call this a different Superman because it's also kind of like Convergence Superman as well, like our post-convergence, because they will they actually include these extra scopes that you actually get for like the Convergence storyline. So that's pretty cool. And I love, I love Mullet Superman. Like I'm a big fan of Mullet Superman really really cool i do have some minor concerns maybe even gripes maybe because i know that we have our our vinyl suit like the i don't want to call it vinyl i don't know what, it, what the material is but i'm gonna assume it's vinyl and then we have like the pleather here or maybe it's pleather on top of vinyl but everybody has their concerns about how the top of the suit is going to work because it is indeed skin tight and you would worry about how it's going to move on the figure so hopefully i can help you guys we figure out what's going on with the figure exactly so First things first, I want to go over the mullet sculpt and then we're going to go over some articulation because I just want to talk about mullet Superman. Like I said, it's one of my personal favorites. Your man is out here looking, he's fabulous. Like, I'm not going front. And the emblem is now sculpted on really, really beautifully. It works really, really well here. Now, we have our, our gauntlet little bracelets. And then I know people are going to talk about the junk, but I don't even know why y'all worried about that, really. But I do like that you have the musculatory that shows throughout the suit no matter what you do. And that's pretty cool depending on what kind of art design you wanna go with. As you can see, we can we have our double joint. Now this is gonna be the problem for some people. As we lift up and rotate our figure, right? Some people are gonna have issues on how they're gonna rotate the arm. My suggestion is you rotate the arm first and then this will follow, which will allow for better articulation. Now, I don't think he'll be able to really lift his arm up without stretching the suit. And I think that's a real big issue. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try to go for it anyway. Let's see. If there's gonna be any sort of tearing. I really wanna be sure. And it looks like he actually can do it. No tearing yet. But it is gonna stretch that fabric. So I would not suggest it long term. So a lot of your flights poses are gonna be hands down flight poses. It's not gonna be, well, actually this Superman technically doesn't fly the normal way anyway, but I'm a little worried about the arm lifting up. I feel like there should be more room in there for it. Maybe if you move the arms closer, but it's a truly big concern about leaving it long-term. And I just don't think it can do it. But crazy though, for the legs though, lots of mobility, crazy good. Like they left more than enough space for any of the leg poses. Same for the ab crunch. So Superman makes up in other areas, especially like the battle poses. Even like you can mostly shift the arm up. Let me actually show you guys. So let's see, you wanna do a punch pose. I think the more I play with it, the more it's able to do it. So if we look right here, oop, pop the head out. <laughs> we can actually do punch poses and I want them to look clean and right. So yeah. We can do punch poses, but actually getting flight poses, not going to happen. But man, this boy looks sick, but I'm, I'm a little worried about that upward movement. It is a gripe, no longer a concern. It is now a gripe. So, yeah. But as you can see here, everything else in this looks absolutely fantastic movement wise. Also, when you are swapping out, I'm going to do this before the accessories. You just have to pull straight off the foot. Don't curve it. Don't try to wiggle it out. Pull straight, and if you're worried, dunk it in a bag with some, some heat. Uh, so that way you can just pull it out, and we're gonna get to that later. But even our neck moves really smoothly, and I took it off because I don't want to damage Mullet Man. I like that they kept the same skin tone and the same neck pegs for easy swap as well. But as you can see here, the look on this guy is utterly fantastic. But there will be no hands forward flight posing. It's just not possible without constantly stretching the leather or pleather to uh, be trained. Oh, I really like the way this shit looks. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse, but <laughs> this is a really good comic book Superman. It's very simple too. Now, accessory wise, I feel like what we got here is really, really dope. So I'm gonna bust out those accessories so you guys can see them. All right, now we're gonna jump into accessories, but I wanna add a asterisk to what I said earlier. Now, my gripe, is now still a concern. And I'm only saying this because as I play with it more, I was able to get it up by slowly rotating it. So the more I got it there, the more I held. But I do not recommend holding this pose for longer than a couple of hours 
because it will cause creases. But after a little while, it went right back to normal. But I feel like there will be long-term damage if you keep it there like that. But it can actually do that. Now the material itself, I don't know if it'll hold, but it is able to reach flight poses. So I wanna talk about that. So I wanna make sure that's clear. So now it's a concern about how long will the material last because it can do flight poses. I like that I was able to learn this earlier in the video as opposed to later because I would have been hella worried. Now, we're going to talk about the accessories that he comes with because my man is looking good right here. Now, one of the cool things we get is going to be our alternative scopes. It's one of those things I was really like, yeah. <clears throat> so, one of those things is, ooh, 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 where is it, where is it, where is it? Our boots, right? Our boots and our alternative look. I didn't take any of this stuff out. Do, 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 do. Shit. <laughs> I couldn't even get it open for a second. Here we are with our magnificent boots and our holster for one of our weapons, right? Then you'll get an alternative leg holster and hands here. So we're gonna go over and put these bad boys on now. Like I said before, I'm gonna do this on camera. You just pull directly out. See? Easy takeout. Wasn't even an issue. Then we have our boots and their slide ons, you know? So you just slide your boots on. I think these are at least a little bit higher than our previous boots. Now, my thing is I'm always worried about how this is gonna fit back on and it should fit, but I'm always worried about the amount of pressure that needs to be added. Make sure you hear that click because if you don't hear it, it's not on, trust me. Ooh, see? Make sure it's straight, because you, you will end up worried. <laughs> so let's do this. There we go. So now we have our rocket boots on. And I made the grave mistake of putting the boots on first over our <laughs> over our side holster piece. And I should have actually like done it the other way around. But I was super excited to put these on. As you can see, now we have our rocket boots look. And there are rocket boot effects for it. Let's get this guy straight up. Here we have with our bandolier for our weapon. We'll come back to this. Then we have a slew of hands. So we have regular item. Well, actually, these are larger item holding hands at the bottom. We have flight hands here. We have some open action hands. We have smaller item holding hands. Then we have some semi open action hands. And then we have our opposite leg holster of our sidearm one. Let's actually open that up so we can see it as well. I like that I'm able to do this and you can see it clearly. No crazy focus changes. Well, I'll do this off screen because my nails was not having it. <laughs> so like I said, I was a little too happy and I put that on first. Then we have our one for our weapon holster. Now we get to our bandolier of other cool things, right? We have our larger weapon, our smaller one, which goes into the holster. We have an extra magazine. We have a few other items. Let's get to that. Let's take it all out. <clears throat> we have our rocket boost effect. These will pull up right into the rocket boots at the bottom. As you can see here, you'll get two of those. Like I explained before, you'll get a large blaster. Magazine should be removable. It's tight in there, but it is removable. I'm gonna call it a solar blaster. It comes with a port effect too, but I don't know if you can actually put an effect in there actually test this out yep this fits there we go then you will also get this nicely positioned rock and this rock seems like it's an ordinary rock but it's to put this bad boy in there right and to plant the superman cape that is tattered on Ooh. To plant the Superman cape that is tattered on so it can hang in the wind. I'm pretty sure you're going to hang it from the opening, right? Here between the two. And it's wired so you can like hang it in the wind. That's a poor example of that. <laughs> but if you want it to like hang in the wind or something like that, I'm going to find a better way to look at it. But you know what I mean. This tattered cape is nice though. You can like attach it if you want. 
Then you will get a set of glasses, some tech glasses here. Not sure which one, which head scope this is gonna go on though, but I'm going to test that in a little bit. Let's remove all of these bad boys. And then we're gonna talk about our extra scopes and our cool uh, solar panel bandolier. This looks really cool on him actually. Man went full arsenal out here for his regeneration suit. And like I said, with the extra bandoliers on, which I'll show you later in photos, my man had a certain look that he was just like about it. You know, recovery suit Superman was doing everything he needed to do. And he wasn't really edgy about it. He was just Superman. Just he had to do things differently. And it was a good look. All right. So this actually looks really good here. Next up, we have our sculpts, which I've saved for last because I brought out Superman to show you with it. Here we have, and this is what I called our convergence look, our bearded head. Our smiling Superman with short hair has the same sculpt as uh, and ball joint as the original Superman. So it's an easy swap. You have a yelling beard look, which I thought is pretty cool. And then you have a stoic beard look. Last but not least, you get one really cool effect of a ripped cyborg Superman sculpt and a hand attached to it so you can actually hold it up. I thought this was really cool for them to add. Like I said before, because they use the same sculpt, you can easily just take your normal Superman and add a bearded sculpt on your Superman. Now look, now you're a bearded sculpt Superman. Same for when you want to uh, just swap it up with him, right? Let's say you don't want mullet or bearded sculpt. Look at that. So now you're in a really good spot here. This is really dope. Now, I think I've gone over just about everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-swap the feet back and then we're gonna jump into our size comparison. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, onward to the size comparison. First things first, you saw him in the video with Superman, but let's do it with a, another Superman, which is gonna be our Mezco Superman. Get them around the same size. Boop, boop, doo doo And this one seems to be about the same size, but you know, I feel like the body's slightly different. I feel like he has less muscular arms, or maybe they're the same, but I feel like he has less muscular arms, but they stand at about the same height. It just doesn't seem that way. His boots are a little bit thicker, but with his silver boots on, it'll look a lot better. Then I'm gonna toss a McFarlane Bizarro in there. Cause I like Bizarro. I didn't I don't have it really uh, any McFarlane Superman, but I do have Bizarro. And I feel like this is a nice match for it. I feel like if you had a more classic costume, it'll fit. But if you're doing a convergence storyline, it actually works out in your favor. So there you have that. Let's remove these two bad boys. And then we're gonna do the Mofex recovery suit or regeneration suit Superman. And I gotta say, I like these guys for two different reasons. While the Mofex does the comic accurate Tom Grummet style, which I love ri ridiculously. The stature and style of these guys are completely different, but it looks really good. And then you can actually pair this guy up with like Cyborg Superman and it still kind of works in my favor because I'm going to take these photos anyway. <laughs> so him being bigger and larger, I don't mind it. And it's crazy too, because I didn't expect the Mofex to be bigger than the Mezco, but... Again, I think it, in this case, it actually works out. Being a little bit more stout. And I just feel like overall proportion-wise, the Mezco looks really good. But this guy is, he does what it's supposed to do. But the fact that he comes with all of these cool accessories, it's hard to beat that. So keeping both is actually great because now I have a reason to do different shots for each style. So let's take these guys away. We can compare to some other lines. If you want, here we are. They Jada Toys Ken, right? Then we can do a Marvel Legends spider shot. So you can see size-wise how these guys stack up. And again, the men's is looking a little short, but it works out here in the favor of all the cool styles you get, plus the different style boots, especially with the silver ones being a little bit more thicker. Next up, here we are with a Valiverse and G.I. Joe. Just finished these guys' videos. We did them both in the same day. Here we are with an infantry soldier and a desert infantry soldier from Valiverse. Up to the next one. Because Superman stay going up against soldiers, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> right? Then we have my main man, Ichigo. Always going to be a part of the plan. Always there. And then we're also going to slap Ichigo with a Mythic Legion. 
because you know superman's all over the place he's for aliens guardians from different dimensions been in different timelines it's, it's always there time travel so we've all done it and here we are so again i feel like it's one of those if you really love superman this is going to be for you if you wanted a definitive version this may not be for you because they definitely mezco fight it and you have choices here to make i am a little worried about the material and the stretching because i know people like to leave their stuff in poses i'm a little worried too especially with my poses on that too but with all of that being said i think it's one of those things where we find our balances so as always guys please do enjoy i hope you guys found it informative hope you're having a great day uh so please be good do good drink your water guys later so for the record these eradicator glasses are just a broken accessory they don't fit on any sculpt but i was too excited to figure that out so adding that in yeah yeah <laughs>